Brexit could be delayed by another two months, even if the Prime Minister manages to get a deal through the Commons. Prime Minister Theresa May is currently doing the rounds across Ireland and Brussels and Europe, uh, trying to salvage her withdrawal agreement, or what's left of it, in the hope that she can get the House of Commons back on board with her deal pretty bloody quick. She's trying to solve the backstop conundrum, which has been the problem the entire time. It's a measure that puts the entire UK inside a customs union with the EU in the event that at the end of the transition period we haven't come to an agreement about our future relationship with the EU. This is a measure designed to stop a hard border being implemented on the island of Ireland. Uh, but it would effectively mean that the UK would be stuck within this customs union within the EU with no ability to unilaterally leave it, which is a problem for us. But the problem for Northern Ireland is that Britain and Northern Ireland could be treated differently within this customs union owing to different customs and trade rules, meaning there would be a barrier, a border essentially between Northern Ireland and Britain. And of course, the unionists in Northern Ireland don't want that to happen. Very few people in the Commons supported Theresa May's withdrawal agreement because of this backstop problem. That's why it was voted down by a massive 230 votes when it was put to the test in a meaningful vote. So the Prime Minister is now trying to win people over by finding alternative arrangements to the backstop, or at least that's what she was meant to be doing, because when the Commons voted for the Brady Amendment, it said that they want the Prime Minister to go back to the EU and demand alternative arrangements to the backstop. But yesterday, during a speech in Northern Ireland, she told us that she's not going to scrap the backstop entirely. She simply wants to change it. Whew, crazy stuff um, and a story for a different time, frankly. The Prime Minister doesn't seem to know what she's doing. And now we're learning that even if Mrs May was able to come back with whatever deal she can uh, get the EU to accept and whatever deal she can get through the Commons, it looks like Brexit might still have to be delayed by a further eight weeks, two months, to get the bloody thing through. The Daily Mail reports... Brexit could be delayed for up to eight weeks, even if Theresa May gets her deal through the Commons, it emerged last night. Cabinet ministers have discussed pushing the date back to allow time for essential legislation to pass through the Commons. An eight-week delay would mean leaving the European Union on May 24th instead of March 29th. Now, this decision is being made because of a number of bills that apparently need to be passed before we leave, including immigration bills and trade bills and loads and hundreds, in fact, of smaller bills uh, that need to go through so we have all pieces of legislation in order for our withdrawal. Now, Commons leader Andrea Leadsom MP did suggest some weeks ago that the date could be extended by a couple of weeks. In fact, Jeremy Hunt said the same thing, but they said a couple of weeks. Now we're looking at eight weeks. Come on, this is more than just kicking the can down the road at this point. This is serious delay tactics. Uh, in my commentary actually yesterday um, about the Sunderland plant where the... Uh, uh, Nissan's car manufacturing plant in Sunderland has decided not to go ahead to manufacture the X-Trail car there. I imagined what it would have been like if we'd have simply had a clean Brexit two and a half years ago. By now we'd have certainty for businesses and we might have even come to a, some agreement with the EU on our future relationship with them. It could have been all done and dusted by now, but instead we're here still negotiating our withdrawal. We've not even got to the part where we negotiate our future relationship with them. No clue what it's gonna look like, our relationship with them in the future. And now we're having to delay Brexit once again uh, by two months. We might even extend the transition period to 2022. At least that's what it says in the Malthouse Compromise. So how long are we expected at this point to just keep waiting for Brexit to happen? How long is it gonna take? Well, politicians keep kicking the can down the road, businesses are suffering. It's true. It's not because of Brexit, by the way. It's because of the uncertainty that's being caused by the politicians who are kicking the can down the road and making Brexit look like it's going to be an absolute disaster. Let's get the bloody thing over and done with. Let's give businesses some certainty and let's do what the British people told the politicians two and a half years ago. Let's just leave the European Union. We're not funded by the government, we don't have big sponsors, and we certainly don't have massive donors. If you'd like to help support our work, please go to rebeldonations.com slash thebuck.